welcome to a new episode of eAcademy. Today we will talk about the INT KWRL wireless keypad designed for everyday operation of the Integra and the Integra Plus control panels. The enclosure and display are identical to the INT KLFR, its wired counterpart. What makes the two models different is located inside. The INT KLFR is a wired keypad, while INT KWRL is a wireless device that has a built-in radio system operating at 868 MHz. This keypad is designed to work as part of the two-way wireless ABAC system. Before the INT KWRL was included in our product offering, it was not possible to build on fully wireless alarm systems based on Integra control panels. Only wired or hybrid systems were available, which included wireless detectors, sirens and other components. However, the keypad itself always required a wired connection to the control panel. This is why the INT KWRL keypad, functionally corresponding to the wired LCD keypads, was created. It opened completely new possibilities for building systems based on their integral control panels. Now the system can be fully wireless because the INT KWRL can work as the only keypad in the system. As you could see on the animation a moment ago, for the INT KWRL to interact with the Integra control panel, either the ACU120 or the ACU270 controller of the ABAX wireless system is required. Exactly. And is anything else required for the INT KWRL keypad to be able to work in the alarm system? Yes, several conditions must be met. First of all, the firmware version of the Integra control panel should be 1.17 or newer. Secondly, the firmware version of ACU120 or ACU270 modules must be 5.03 or newer. And thirdly, the deload program version 1.17.001 or higher is required to configure such a system. Now that we have mentioned the ABAC system controllers, the question may arise, what about the older models, such as the ACU100 and the ACU250, and the one that is built into the Integra 128 WRL board? The keypad is a device that requires fast data transmission. Consequently, compatibility with modules that use newer technological solutions is necessary. Regardless of which model the Integra control panel the system is based on, you should use the ACU120 or the ACU270 controller. All this is required for communication with the INT KWRL to run smoothly. OK, and what about the range of transmissions between the keypad and the controller? Measurements have shown that the keypad works correctly at a distance of up to 400 meters from the ACU270 module, and even twice as far in the case of the ACU120. Of course, this data is applicable for open areas. When the keypad is installed indoors, this range will be smaller. This is due to a number of factors, including the type of material used for the walls and ceilings and the arrangement of the system in the building. Important information. As with other wireless devices, before installation of the keypad at its final location, you must check the level of the radio signal received by the controller. If it is lower than 40%, select another location for installation of the keypad. What also should be added is that the INT KWRL, like the INT KLFR, is provided with a proximity card reader. This allows you to control the alarm system without having to remember and enter any passwords. Since you already know this about your keypad, we can show you how to enroll into the Integra control panel using the Deload X program. OK, what do we need for that? A computer with a Windows operating system, an INT KWRL wireless keypad with batteries installed, an Integra 128 Plus control panel with power supply and battery, an ACU270 wireless system controller, a USB RS converter to connect the control panel to the computer and the Deload X configuration program. For now, the control panel is disconnected from the power supply. It will be turned on for the first time. There is no keypad connected, so the local programming option will be jump-started using the pins. For this purpose, connect the control panel to the computer using the USB RS converter. Then, start the Deload X program. Place a jumper across the reset pins. Connect the battery. And turn on the power supply. Wait until the dialer LED stops flashing. In the case of the Integra 128 WRL model, which does not have such an LED, wait about 10 seconds. Remove the jumper. 
The control panel has been detected. Confirm the message displayed. You can see that a new identifier has been set for the control panel. Accept the data reading. It should be added here that the ACU270 module has been connected to the control panel. It is important to remember that the ABAC system controllers must be connected to both the keypad bus and the expander bus. The data has been read. Open the structure window and go to the hardware tab. Select expansion modules bus 1 because the ACU270 module has been connected to this bus. Click the expansion modules identification button. A window will open to inform you about new data read from the control panel. Click Next. As you can see, the identification has been successfully completed. Click OK. Expand the list of devices connected to the first expander bus. A module described as ACU100 has appeared here. It is its default name and you can change it if need be. Select the ACU module in the list. You will be prompted about the change of data. Click Yes. You can check at the indicated point the firmware version that is installed on your ACU270. We remind you that in order for the module to work with the wireless keypad, it must be version 5.03 or higher. Now go to the INT KWRL tab. Click the New Device button. Find the keypad serial number on its electronics board and enter it in the program. According to the display prompt, press any button on the keypad. OK, the device data has been loaded. Do not change the settings here. Just click OK to confirm. The program prompts you to carry out identification of the keypads. So, click Keypads Identification. The window informing you about new data read from the control panel opens again. Click Next. The keypad identification was successful. Click OK. In the left part of the window, open the drop-down list of keypads. You can see the INT KWRL is there. It means it is ready to work. Check whether you can start the service mode from the keypad level. The keypad is inactive. It will wake up when you start entering the service mode. Press the asterisk button to confirm it. The control panel has factory settings, therefore you are prompted to change the password. Press the asterisk button again. Use the arrow buttons to go through the menu options and find the service mode item. Click OK. From this moment, you can navigate through the service mode menu using your wireless keypad. This stage completes steps required to enroll the INT KWRL into the Intrica control panel. That's all for today. Please remember that we are waiting for your emails with suggestions of topics we could discuss in eAcademy. Thank you for your attention. We invite you to watch the next episodes. See you soon.